I bow down to you. Okay. This is incredible. Why would you do that? What are we doing here? No. no. <laughs> Thank you, Ripple, for sponsoring today's video. Hello, what's going on, everybody? It's your girl, Merle, and welcome to another video. I hope you're having a beautiful Tuesday. We're going to be picking up back where we left off on our ranking video saga. Now, this ranking video has been requested for what feels like forever. I think I've been seeing bacon, vegan bacon making, vegan bake, vegan bacon ranking video requests forever. Try to say that five times fast. I'm really excited. I'll be honest, I don't normally buy vegan bacon substitutes because first of all, if I really want it, I usually just do the go the tempeh route. But also we have those fantastic rice paper bacons that we've tried. The Gordon Ramsay one was really, really good. Yeah, I don't know. It just isn't something I generally spring for. But I'm excited to try some of these because I do love a BLT. And who knows, maybe I'll find one that'll inspire me to get vegan bacon more often. Most of you probably have seen one of my ranking videos at some point by now. We've done vegan mac and cheese rankings, we've done vegan chicken nugget rankings, we've done vegan pizza, we've ranked Disney's vegan options, Universal's vegan options, and more. For those of you who are new, welcome, happy to have you. The way that these work is I rank them on an S, A, B, C, D, F scale. S being superb, you nailed it, I can't even tell the difference. A being absolutely delicious, I love it, I would get it again. B being, this is good, it's not bad. C being, it's fine, not gonna buy this again, but it's not insulting my taste buds. D being, not good, don't waste my time. And F being, the vegans have gone too far. You know when the vegans have gone too far. With that, I say we get right into this. And I will also say thank you to today's sponsor. Ripple. I have recently gotten into a very good workout routine. Ripple plant-based protein shakes are soy-free, nut-free, gluten-free, and lactose-free. Ripple is by far like the smoothest, creamiest, most delicious protein shake that I've found so far. These are seriously my go-to to get my protein in before or after a workout. And every single bottle is packed with 20 grams of plant-based protein and only nine grams of sugar. Here we've got chocolate, coffee, and vanilla. The coffee's my I also really love to make overnight oats with these. You can put oats, your plant-based protein shake, some chia seeds, berries, bananas, peanut butter, cinnamon, you name it. I just find that it's a really good way to have a nice protein-filled fibrous breakfast without being too filling or heavy. Perfect for before a workout. I know a lot of people are worried about getting enough protein and this just makes it so much easier and they taste amazing. So what are you waiting for? Click the link below to get 25% off Ripple protein shakes with my code Merle25. Thanks again, Ripple. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, first up we've got Light Life. Smart bacon, plant-based bacon. <laughs> let's see, this one says you can either cook it in a skillet or you can cook it in a toaster oven. Since plain old bacon is best when it's baked, in my opinion, it's also just the least messy way to do it. I'm gonna do the same thing with these vegan ones when it gives me the option. Popper in the old convection oven. Okay, so for these Smart Life ones, right off the bat, they don't look like bacon. They kind of look like bologna. There's like little midi pockets of fat in there, but they break apart really, really easily. So that's just one thing to note. They're not the most sturdy but let's toss them in the oven and see what happens. When I took these out of the convection oven, part of me was like, these look so dry, maybe I should put them in the skillet. But then I made another one, I just brushed it with oil. I realized it said that on the instructions. Hmm. Okay, the texture is not really giving bacon. My favorite kind of bacon is a little chewy, but crispy as well. So you've got like fatty bits. This is a little bit like a dog treat, but the flavor is pretty good. It's a little too salty for my liking. I might just cook it for less long, honestly, in the oven, or you could try it on the skillet, but I can't be trying all of these in the skillet in the oven. It's just gonna take too long. Do you like, it just kinda, kinda looks like construction paper. They got the color pretty much correct. I would say looks wise, a two out of 10. Flavor wise, it's closer to like a seven. I'm between a B and a C. The texture is just so off. I might have to give it a C, honestly. It's fine. I wouldn't buy it again. We got one down, 
Let's move on to the next one. So the next one we have is another light life bacon. This time it's tempeh. So they got a couple vegan bacons on the market. I Like I said, I do generally spring for tempeh when it comes to a vegan bacon. So I'm actually pretty excited to try this one. It just feels healthier. Like tempeh, at least I feel like I'm getting some good protein, some fiber. Fermented things tend to be pretty healthy. So instead of just being made out of the vegan mystery dust that m many vegan products are made of, it's nice to kind of know what the base of it is. Kind of just sitting here in the marinade. It's just marinating in this. Let's do it. All right, so the Light Life Tempeh Bacon is off to a smashing start. It's not like falling apart like the other one did as much. You know, it's still kind of fragile, but not too bad. And so far it seems pretty easy. So I'm just gonna keep this monitored and then we can try it. It definitely doesn't look anything like bacon. It smells good though. And it's not too crispy. It's not like soggy. The texture is not gonna be like bacon. I already know. Hmm, this is really tasty. When I'm cooking it in a skillet, drizzle a little maple syrup in there so it cooks with the maple syrup and caramelizes with it because it's just missing a little bit of sweetness. This is where these rankings become very arbitrary. This one doesn't look like bacon. It doesn't really taste like bacon. It's got the essence of bacon and it doesn't have the texture of bacon. It's very clearly tempeh, but I feel good eating it. Like it doesn't feel super processed and it doesn't feel like super junk food. And I like it. You can crisp it up. You can make it less crispy, up to you. I'm gonna give it a B. I think it's really good. I can't give it an A because it's not really giving bacon. I might just buy this in the future instead of making my own marinade just for the convenience of it. It's, it's close to being an egg, so I really like it. Maybe, Maybe I should, should give it an egg, so I would buy it again. again. Oh God, my Libra, my Libra is speaking. <laughs> or not deciding, I should say. I'll give it a B, it's a B plus. On to the next. For this next one, we've got another tempeh bacon. Now this is Tofurky, which I don't think I realized is a brand. I thought Tofurky was a thing, like the thing that some vegans and vegetarians get. Tofurky Treehouse Tempeh Smoky Maple Bacon. So maybe this one will have the sweetness that the other one was missing. The battle of the tempeh, trials of the tempeh. Just trying to give it a little drama, you know? I'm not cleaning the pan between every single bacon. I'm just not doing it. So save your comments about how dirty the skillet is because that's the way it's gonna be. Would you clean it every time? Don't answer that if the answer is yes. Okay, so these slices of tempeh are thicker. They're thicker, they're more compact, and they stay together easier. They don't break apart, but they're smaller. They look like they study a lot. They they were ready for their SATs. There they are, overachievers. As long as they're delicious overachievers, that's fine by me. Oh, that was not ready yet. By the way, I've become quite the bird lady in my 30 years of age. Uh, hummingbirds, other birds, any birds really, love them. And I keep hearing this sound, I live in LA, I keep hearing this bird sound, it's like And I'm wondering if anyone knows what it is. It's a cool sound. It kind of sounds like a toy, like a wooden toy. Does anyone know what that is? Okay, back to bacon. Let's see. Oh, that looks nice. These guys impress me. There's something about them and the way that they are shaped that just scratches something in my brain that is nice. It's a good scratch. They crisp up nicely. They look nothing like bacon. They look like tempeh and tempeh only. So once again, the texture won't be like bacon. The look isn't like bacon. So hopefully the taste is similar-ish to bacon. Hmm. I don't like these ones as much as the last ones. Kind of a bitter aftertaste. I'm just missing something. Unfortunately, even though I was very intrigued and impressed by the appearance of these ones, I might give it a C plus or a B minus. It might be too smoky. I think I'm gonna give it a C. Too much smokiness and not enough like baconness. Unexpected. I didn't see that coming. I was so charmed by them, but here we are. Let's move on to the next one. For our next contender, we have Belief. Do you believe? Now, you may remember Belief because we also did a vegan egg ranking video. Now, let's just talk about this. This looks wild. The picture here is bananas. I'm like, is it gonna look like that when we open it? Oh, I don't know about that. I don't like the look of that at all. Oh shoot, was I supposed to thaw this? Thaw in the refrigerator, whoops. Well, shucks, I guess we'll have to put this one on hold. I gotta let this thaw out tonight. Rats. 
Really curious how we're gonna get from here to here. But you know what? Miracles do happen every day. I just can't figure out what is going on here. Now, Belief famously had the like $18 vegan eggs that were very good. I'm hoping this will be of that caliber because right now it looks bananas. Those ones kind of looked bananas though too. So you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep an open mind, not gonna judge. See ya tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so it's been a day and our bacon or salmon is defrosted. So we're gonna pop her on the old skillet. So the method I'm gonna spring for on this one is pan frying. I guess you can also grill it and deep fry it, but I'm gonna pan fry it because that's what I would do. Look at this, kind of looks like ham or something. It holds together really nicely. It smells like something, like something meaty. I'm gonna make sure they get really coated in the oil. Check it out. This is how they look. They've got some chewiness to them still and some crunchiness. They look really good. I'm like very impressed with the marbling. It looks the part. I mean, it looks like meat. That is for sure. Y'all, this is what I was holding out for. This is it right here. This is incredible. This is incredible. The texture is almost perfect. It's got fattiness, crunchiness, the taste, unbelievable. Not overwhelmingly smoky. It's got a little sweetness. Holy moly, this is BLT material. This is just eat it itself material. I mean, this is getting an S. This is an S. Even though it doesn't look exactly like bacon, it looks so much like meat, like ham, that I'm giving it, I'm giving it high scores. Belief, I bow down to you. This would be non-vegan approved. I can almost guarantee you. Actually, I can guarantee you. Let's see what Arya thinks. Hmm. Isn't that amazing? It tastes like bacon. Yes. It smells like it too. What is it? It's a store-bought bacon. It's very, it tastes like bacon. Isn't that incredible? Impressive. I was losing hope. I was like, none of these are very good. I can't get over this. This one is a bit more on the pricey side, but heck, it's worth it. To me, it's worth it. Belief, you are the one to be hard act to follow. Let's move on to the next one. Our next one we have here are these Louisville vegan toppings. They're basically bacon bits. Why is this in this shot? <laughs> I figured like, when else am I gonna talk about these? So I included them. They're made with TVP which is cool. Oh no, they're not, I lied. Textured soy protein, not textured vegetable protein. Interesting. But it has like pretty basic, straightforward, not scary ingredients. And Louisville does a lot of vegan jerkies. So I'm excited to give this a shot. We will do a vegan jerky ranking eventually, don't worry. Okay, let's open these. Kind of look like little, they don't look like bacon bits, like the ones I know. They look like, like seitan, honestly. Like little crumbles of seitan. Hmm. Kind of tastes like molasses. Again, it's gonna be really hard to follow up what we just ate. I like that they're on the healthier side, but they really don't taste like bacon. They're like an essence of bacon. It's like they're pl they're playing bacon for Halloween. Like you would play Mike Myers for Halloween. Like you're not gonna kill anyone. You're not gonna look exactly like him. Well, actually that's a pretty easy costume, but she's still good. I mean, I'm gonna have to rank this one like, I'll give it a B. It's good. I don't think I'll get it again. Not because it's bad, just because I don't really have a use for it. It's there as an option if you want it. That's gonna be a B for me. Okay, on to the next. Okay, next we have Morning Star. These look kind of like begging strips on the box. <laughs> oh, wow. This looks something like bacon. Just don't look for too long. <laughs> this looks pretty crazy. Oh, wow. When you take them out, they look a little bit more like candy. Let's see how they look once they're cooked. See how it looks a little bit like candy? What are these made of? Oh, they have some vitamins and minerals in there. It's nice. Wait. Contains egg? And milk ingredients? No. 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 <laughs> Why would you do that to me? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Who is gonna buy this? Vegans and vegetarians, mostly. This has milk, milk and egg, egg in it. <laughs> I searched for this too. Damn you. Devastated right now. While we're at Devastation Station, I may as well tell you that I searched high and low for Sweet Earth's Benevolent Bacon. I don't have it, I couldn't find it. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it anywhere. So sad. So what I'm gonna do is just show you my reaction from that video to Benevolent Bacon and then I'll rank it for you and let you know. In case you're curious, cause it's another one that's out there that you've probably heard of. Here's what I thought of it. I never buy bacon substitutes. I don't know why, I just don't. 
but these benevolent bacon ones smell really good. The only thing I have against them is they kind of fall apart in the pan, but they smell amazing. I'm, I'm pretty excited to try these. But the bacon is not my favorite. Even though I really like the bacon hack, I'm not a big fan of this particular one. I think I need to do a vegan bacon ranking. Based on my reaction to this and from what I remember, I mean, the look isn't really there. It doesn't look anything like bacon. The taste wasn't spot on bacon either. I think I'd give it a B. Now that I've had the belief one, I'm like, that's where it could be. Should I give it a C? Let's just be nice and say it's B minus because I don't really, it's not here. I don't want to like rank it harshly if it's not here. Let's move on to our next bacon. Morning Star, I'm never going to forgive you for this. All right, next we have Upton's bacon, Satan bacon, Satan bacon. Satan is a great way to substitute meat because the texture of it is so meaty. So that might save this, this one. We'll see. Oh, that's interesting looking. Don't know how we feel about that. These are so tiny. These are so small. Definitely feeling that Satan texture. These are thick. These are seriously so thick. All right, we're gonna toss them in the old skillet and see what magic happens. Upton says, easily make these dishes. Pizza, sandwiches, salads, breakfast. Could you give some recipes? That's a little vague. That's just a little vague. Whoops. God damn it. There we go. Yeah, that looks nothing at all like bacon, but maybe it'll taste like bacon. Looks like some kind of meat. I don't know what though. Let's give it a try. Ooh, it breaks apart nicely. What are we doing? What are we doing here? This tastes zero, literally nothing like bacon. It doesn't taste like much of anything. I like the texture, it's still a little rubbery. It just kind of tastes like wet dough, which is basically what seitan is. I like the taste of seitan. I would season this myself and use it. Your average person trying a bacon substitute for the first time, they try this, they're gonna be devastated. They're gonna be pissed. Now this hurts, but I might have to give this a D. I would, I would do some, I will use this and like do something with it but you can't call this bacon, even vegan bacon. It might be enough. I'm gonna give it a D, cause it's not like it tastes bad. Next. All right, so this is our last one. We've got Foray Foods. Yay. I will say they did a good job of packaging this in like what looks like actual bacon. It's kind of similar to like the tray that bacon comes in, you know? Interesting. This is something. Definitely kind of looks like bacon. The fat is like a little bit congealed but it's promising. Oh, it's falling apart so much. Okay, I need to just throw this in the skillet. Ooh, look at our bacon over here. Wow, things are happening. These are looking really good. Uh-oh, oh no. Oh God, you're doing so well. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Oh, come on, stay alive. Wow, I did not need this many oil. They released a lot of oil. Trust you me. Holy moly, this is bananas. That is getting very crispy. Here they are. They are oily, slick little devils. This is not quite what I expected, but I will say the look is pretty good. You know, this actually might be the most reminiscent of bacon that we've seen so far. And if it hadn't been falling apart, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be complaining earlier, but yeah, this has got like chewy bits and it's got really crunchy bits. So they did a great job imitating the fat. Ow, it's so hot. Obviously, I just took it out of the pan. <laughs> smells bacon-ish. Mm, bacon crunch, that is good. Okay, this is incredible. The texture and the look on this are even better. They've got the flavor. It's the closest to actual bacon we've gotten. From the look, to the taste, to the texture, it's got the crispy bits, and it's got the fatty bits. Wow, I am so impressed. Even though it disintegrated a little bit, I forgive it. Hooray foods, hooray. Hooray for you, this is incredible. This is super successful, this is obviously an S tier. So we got two S's today, and then a bunch of just kind of like mid ones, and only one F, which I feel bad, but it's just, it's not bacon. It's nowhere close compared to this, are you kidding me? Thank you guys for getting on my case about doing one of these vegan bacon rankings, because this was really fun. I've actually missed ranking videos, because these are pretty fun, especially when I spread them out over a couple days so I don't feel physically ill. If you enjoyed this video or you just enjoy this channel, please consider liking and subscribing. It helps so, so much. Thank you for your constant support. If you want to hang out with me between videos, all my socials are in the description. I have a Discord, I have a Twitch. Keep tagging me in videos of recipes you'd like me to try. I'm thinking about doing a roundup of like some of the best recipes I've seen on TikTok that are like simple, like 30 minutes or less. So if you see any of those, tag me. And with that, I bid you adieu. I hope you have a beautiful day. Adieu, adieu, is that how you say it? Anyway, ciao for now, everyone. Greasy hands, greasy hands. 
What are you touching? Greasy hands, greasy hands. It's not your fault.